Assassin's Creed 3 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen Plays Assassin's Creed 3. On the last episode, Paul Revere's ride. That was exciting and a little frustrating because Paul Revere sat on the back of the horse instead of just driving the horse with me on the back. Nope, he sat on the back and he wouldn't tell me where to go, he just kind of pointed. And he's also really smiley. Anyway, today we've got quite a few things lined up, but first let me tell you about what I did between episodes. First thing, uh, I went back into Underground Boston, and I got most, not all, but most of the uh, the fast travel points. I'm up to eight. I, I've done pretty well, but I'm having trouble finding the last two. I might have to look them up because I can't figure out where they are. Um, other things, I delivered a bunch of leathers, because those were just things that have been on my list forever. Um, I went and grabbed a bunch of the uh, peg leg trinkets, because... Those were scattered about, and I was like, oh, I could probably grab those, so I grabbed a ton. Um, oh, and I took Fort Independence, which is exciting. Fort Independence is actually the same fort uh, that the castle is modeled after in Fallout 4, because it's the same place, because it both take place in Boston. So it's pretty neat. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the last place in uh, Boston, the last fort in Boston, because I actually walked around... Boston for a while, trying to see if there was anything else that I may have missed, and I think I got it all. Alright, so now we are back at the homestead. We have to finish up the Paul Revere mission. We're going to try and work on that today, but first I wanted to walk in here because there's an interactive conversation. I love interactive conversations, as opposed to one-sided conversations. This must be upstairs. Are you upstairs? No. Oh, are you in the... Are you in the basement? I believe you're probably in the basement. Secret cutscene! Unskippable cutscene! Really wish that cutscene was skippable, ho! What's up, man? Is it about the costume I went and got? Remembering old times, Achilles? Gonna... Oh, yes, I suppose I was. Seems like so long ago. Who was the assassin this belonged to? Originally, it was John de la Tours, the first assassin in the colonies. Then it was mine for a time. Ah, the things I've done wearing that armor. Some are uplifting to recall, others very painful indeed. One day, I will hand it over to you, Connor. It is your duty to keep it. It serves as a reminder for how long our brotherhood has really been here. How long we've been protecting the people of this land. But here I am going on again. I know you appreciate what it is. That was sweet. And also helps me better understand what the crap the armor is. Um, Alright, back outside. Actually, no. <laughs> Actually, before, wait, where am I? God, I'm so confused. I'm in the wrong room. It's very confusing. Before I before I go back outside and deal with some stuff, I'm gonna sell even more. I I've been killing beaver like you would not believe. I mean, I have been slaughtering colonies of be. I got a bear pelt in here too, which is nice. Oh, and oh, I forgot I did this. I I also went into a bunch of the general stores. So now we have even more merchants available to us, and I get to see who gives me the best price. So like, I can get up to nine hundred and twelve dollars there. And 864. So the 912 is actually the best option. Okay, so that actually helps a lot. So if I go down here for the beaver, I have 24. I assume it's going to be a similar story. 608, vert. Yeah. Okay, so Child Still House and Dry Goods is getting all this crap. I won't make you watch all this, but uh, just wanted to let you know I'm doing it. Next up, we have two new homestead missions um, that are in, well, the homestead. We've got one here and one here, and we also have a new interactive conversation. Uh, near Norris's mine. I'd, I'd like to see all of those before we get back to the Paul Revere stuff. I've been really trying to flush out the homestead. Well, what do we got here? Uh... Are they looking at the baby, or are they just admi admiring the craftsmanship? Mission. Happy expectations. Okay. The craftsmanship. There is no baby. You want to tell him? My love? I'm pregnant. Congratulations. 
It's been a long time coming. It does present a slight problem, however. There's no doctor for miles. Well, then we should find one. I know of one that may consider moving here. His name is Dr. Lyle White. It's been a turn since we last saw him, but you might try his old house in Boston. Oh, so this, this mission has me going to Boston, which is actually kind of neat. Find the doctor's apprentice in Boston. Okay. <laughs> I will do it right away. Into Boston. Uh, I'll just fast travel. You can see I have all these new fast travel points because I've set the done the stuff. Uh, fast travel into the middle here, and then hopefully they'll tell me exactly where to go. Let's open this up. Uh, do I see anything? That must be the... Cool, I did pretty good about getting close. That must be where the apprentice lives. Excuse me, you there! Can we chat? I believe this is the guy. Dr. White? No, he's the drunken sodder on the corner. If you can get his attention, tell him I quit. All this ire on him. Not worth getting caught up in it. I have a family. Find the doctor. Oh, God. Do we do we really want a drunk doctor around here? Also, what's this? Whatever it is, I can go in it, so that's interesting. Oh, my God. Defend doctor. Ah, God. So don't kill these guys. Hey, hey, leave the... Oh, Jesus, they're beating the crap out of them. I tried to call the assassins. I was like, assassins, come! But I, really, I don't want the assassins to kill everyone. Oh, I'm beating... I'm, I'm killing them. Whatever. Whatever. Hi, bud. Dr. White. Yes? My name is Connor. And what can I help you with? Another quote for the broadsheets for you to twist against me. I'm here to make you an offer. Don't you know who I am? I'm the doctor the British have been slandering all over town. White death. No? I was given your name by my friends Warren and Prudence. Prudence is with child and requires a doctor's hand. Prudence is pregnant? Ha! They've been trying for years, it seems. Maybe getting away from Boston is exactly what I need. Drunken doctor. So that's a new recipe discovered. Is it medicine? Because now we have medicine, right? So things are good, good, better, slightly better. Poultry and other types of oh god, of meat is now available. Um, let me. I don't normally pay for these sorts of things, but yo, incognito. What is? Oh, is this a frontiersman? like establishment in Boston? Maybe. Oh, hey man. What's up? Oi, lad. How's it going then? I am well. And you? Oh, I can't complain. There was something I've been meaning to tell you. I met your dad. It was a long time ago, in London. I was just a boy. Well, didn't meet him really. Just saw him to a fella in at the London Opera House. I was sitting in the balcony with an uncle of mine, went to have a piss, and when I came back, there's your dad. Dashing as they call me was, shirt, jacket, immaculate. My uncle was just slumped there. Looked like he was sleeping, but I knew better, even if I was only a child. Your dad locked eyes on me. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever been so frightened as I was in that instant. It wasn't a fear that he was going to cause me pain. It was this sense that he saw right through me, into my heart, and he would crush it if it had pleased him. But he didn't. He just raised his finger to his lips and gestured for my silence. I complied, and then he was gone. That must have been in the days before his betrayal was made public. He would have sailed for the colonies not long after. I'm astonished that you were actually there. You can imagine my surprise when I saw his face. Took me a while to piece it together, but uh, there you have it. Thought you'd like to know. Thank you. Okay, that's pretty cool. You guys have talked about that, and I thought I completely missed out on that opportunity. That talk 
but it's here. It's still here. We can still get it. And that adds, that little tiny story, that one minute adds so much, in my opinion. Being able to flash back to the beginning of the game and say that character, that little boy, was important. That's cool. I like it. Extra lore points for Assassin's Creed 3. How are you faring? I'm not bad, not bad. All this reminds me of being back in the old country. Fighting for land, fighting for the right to see God my way. Didn't take long before I realized the fight was futile, except aboard a ship bound for the colonies. People over there are so wrapped up in how you perceive the Lord, they forget we're all part of his flock. Stories change, Connor. The way people tell them evolves. It's so different in the Bible, and I believe that's the real root of all the strife back home. But nobody wants to listen to me. If you don't see it their way, you're a heathen. But I feel we're honestly making a difference here. That our presence is felt if not appreciated by all. And it makes me sleep easy at night, and that's all a man can ask for, really. I would like to visit your home country someday. How would you know? You'd turn a head or two in the Emerald Isle, I'll tell you that. Maybe one day I'll muster up the courage, go back, I'll bring you with me. <laughs> It'll be good for a laugh at any rate. I love these little conversations. And that's it for that. Uh, frontier. Let me see what the Frontiersmen have to offer me right now. Start mission. What mission is this? Monster of the Sea. Uh, sure. I'm not one for sailing, but I know it's out there. Some call it a kraken. Others just a sea monster. They say it's 50 feet long if it's an inch, and it rolls ships for sport. You won't find me on the high seas searching for the beast. That's a guarantee I can give you. But it's a riddle that needs solving. Listen to conversations around town. Okay, uh, I'll bite. I'll bite. I, I would like to do some more of the, the Frontiersman missions anyway. Um, where does one... Oh, there are... <laughs> they only talk about it up here because that's where, you know, like the shipyard and stuff is. Um, sure. Sure, I'll, I'll bite. Let's fast travel. Let's fast travel up here and... Get some conversations. I still want to do that homestead mission. You seen the serpent? You bet your eyes I seen the serpent. Thing was horrified. Where was it? Just out past the breakwater. Came up to the surface to have a look, then plunged right back down again. The parts I saw was 30 feet. Who knows how much remained underwater? Huh. Okay. Uh, let's go get uh, another conversation. Jack says an old man is always around when the beast appears. Jack, say a lot. This be one of them. They say he commands the thing. Some old man ordering a cracking about. What a bunch of fluff. Then I mate. A lot of men I trust spend the same yarn. Hmm. So someone is controlling said Kraken? It seems a little weird. You hear the serpent weaver die? The old thief's buried not far from here. Ram was up a light. That old fellow people said called the Kraken bought the farm lot of them ago. Nobody's seen the beast since. So it was true then. Didn't say that. Maybe you could ask his widow. She won't leave his grave. Ooh. So the widow is at the grave and can explain exactly what's going on around here. Sure. Fun little mission. You come to pay your respects. You're the first. He didn't have many friends. People just didn't understand. He was a good trader, a good husband. I never wanted for anything. Investigate the trader's workshop. This is this is quite a uh, quite a little mission. I might have to do more of these frontiersman missions. I've seen them on the frontier, but uh, they're actually pretty interesting. Doing things like eavesdropping about like sea monster, like that sort of thing is fun. It's very different from what's normally going on in the game, so anything to switch it up a little bit is always enjoyable. Looks like the workshop was just up, like some barrels outside of this warehouse. What is this? Did he dress up like a sea monster? Mystery of the American Sea Monster solved. 
A new tail was available in the ADB. Okay, um, I'll bite. The American Sea Monster. I'm not one for sailing, but I know it's out there. Some call it a Kraken, others just a sea monster. They say it's 50 feet long, if not an inch, blah, 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 blah. So that was who spoke at the beginning. Connor says, people across Boston spoke of seeing the monster. Reports varied in the details, but most agreed that it was long and black and only appeared in the presence of an old man. Turns out, the creature was the old man himself, diving in the water with a contraption that allowed him to breathe while submerged. The machine itself was as startling as any monster, but it poses no danger to ships. And this is the other tale that we did much earlier. A pair of more ambitious adventures set out. I happened across an encampment belonging to the two adventurers. The scene was grisly. My thoughts were of high women or war parties, but as I searched the area, the truth of their fates came clear. A fight broke out. Vicious. One drew a blade, stabbing the other. Then he set out for home, but he received justice of a kind long before as he was attacking Kobai Wolf. Okay. See, there's so much stuff. Like, so much stuff in Assassin's Creed 3. It is a wildly detailed and complex game that at the beginning I'm like doing all these things and it's a little overwhelming and I'm trying to sort out what meant what and what went where and what told me what kind of thing. So now I understand the Frontiersman tells me the tales. Got it. And honestly that mission was that mission was pretty fun. And at the end you get a little snippet into uh, you know American history. The history of the sea monster. Neat. Okay, so that was that was something. Uh, now we're going to go... Because uh, we are still after the other Frontiersman... Not Frontiersman. Homestead mission. There were two Homestead missions. Uh, we did one of them. We're going to go do the other one. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what we... I don't know how many more uh, Homestead missions we could even have. I feel like we've done a pretty good job of... Oh, oh, God. Apparently doing that one unlocked more. Okay. Alright, so this is the one I was locked on to. Apparently there are two more, but we'll start with this one. Hey, what you guys up Connor, to? How about a quick game of bowls? <laughs> bowl! I love bowl. Show I me how to bowl. you are getting along again. Oh, I. <laughs> We're uh, always at each other for one thing or another, but more often than not, we work it out in the end. It's just the thought of my family threatened got me hot under the collar. And? Terry knows he couldn't beat me in a fight. You rat! That's why he built this bowl pitch, so he could beat me at something. Still can't, though, can you, Terry? I was winning till Connor came along! Sure you were. Oh my god. It's minigame time, everyone! Who's excited? Okay, this lets me move back and forth. Right stick lets me aim. A to throw. What am I attempting to do? K. Throw level shot tactical camera. My god. Level shot. Am I trying to throw my my other My other ball's near it. Plus one point. It's Godfrey's turn! Plus one point. Oh, oh, you see that one? Okay, lob shot. That seems fine to me. And I want it to be, I think I want it to be real close. <laughs> I don't know what the piss is going on. I like I threw the red ball at the beginning. Okay, I think it's just whoever can get their balls closest. Maybe, probably. Godfrey gets to throw all of his balls all of a sudden. And I'm not sure why. Okay, now I get mine back. Um I'm going to put mine right here. Tactical camera. Real tiny window. Oh, yeah! Backspin, baby. Okay, I, I win, right? Like, my my balls are closer than his balls. At this point, I, I, I'm probably just risking losing the game. I don't know. All right, I'm going I'm to put it over on this side then. 
It's a real tiny dot. Come on, Connor. Woo! Three points, baby. I beat Godfrey. You won! Okay, I'm never playing that again. Forest resources can now be purchased from lumberers. Get that pine. That's sweet, sweet. I already had that pine, but... Bowls, beginner. God, beginner means that it, there's going to be more. Which is not... It's not completely thrilling to me, but, um... You know, it is what it is. Oh, there's some people walking around here. Any of y'all gold? You got the, you got the gold in you? No? None of you are special enough. All right. I thought there were going to be two homestead. There's apparently more. Um, but I said I was going to do two, so I'm keeping it at two. That means that what we need to do now is go back to the frontier. I need to be in here, but there's no fast travel points there, so I'll just go here. And uh, what we're doing is we are going to take care of the second part of that Paul Revere mission. Uh, that is the agenda for the rest of this episode. Just have to figure out exactly where it is. I'm, I guess I'm going to have to just ride my horse there. Before I go, do you have any uh, new dialogue? What segment does it need to Gotcha. Heard loud and clear. All right, I am on my way here. See you there in a second. Here we are. Man, you got an army lined up. Are you... Are you, are you coughing? It seems like you're coughing a lot. Lexington and Concord! Very famous battle. Connor was there. Stand your ground, men! Don't fire! Unless fired upon! But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here! Pick him. Disperse, you damn rebels. Lay down your arms and disperse. What the use are you doing? Hold your position! Bravest! Break us! They are not coming back. We will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me, or not. Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. Go on now! I don't know, man. I feel like I could take him. Because I, like, committed genocide in Boston. Oh, God! It won't let me call my horse. Okay. So it wants it must want me to run. Alright. Cause I got horses on demand, man. Just wants me to witness the atrocities happening all around me. Okay. So I'll just run for like three minutes <laughs> three minutes here. I can run pretty fast. I'm not running all these guys. They're not they're, are they in the proper footwear? I think they're not in the proper footwear. I think that's really the problem here. Also, I might, might go faster up in a tree. It's like trees, man. Trees are a fast way to travel in this game. But also not always, because they don't always go the direction you want to go. Like, did I save some time there? That's art. You could argue that I did. Same thing here. Like, I'm going to get up in a tree. These rocks normally start and end what I'm going to call runs. They start and end runs in the trees. But, like, they don't always go the direction that you want them to go. It's like, now I'm going to have to climb up, and now I'm like, did I, did I actually save time? I don't know. Okay, I can probably, can probably cut out, cut into the back way here. Might save me a little time, instead of running down the road. Maybe? Sure, I'm I'm missing all of the action, but I'm I'm maybe saving myself some seconds. Rescue civilian hostages. I, I don't understand why I couldn't have a horse, man. Like this is a lot harder on foot. Like I understand that I, I get to experience the the P 
people running and screaming. If I would have, if I just would have had a horse, it would have been fine. Oh my God, this is so far away. Please, please, can I? If anyone just that guy's not in a hurry at all. I mean, I'm gonna get there in time, as long as this thing doesn't keep changing too much further ahead. Or is that it? That looks like it's it. I think that's it. I did it. Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. And why do you think I'm met up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. Enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. Slow nod. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. I mean... Uh, see what happens, man. Oh, it's... No, oh, it's going down now. Oh, snap. It's going down now. Okay. Sir! Mount the barricades! No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Okay. Kill groups of regulars with a single order. Zero of seven. Command the firing lines and defend Barrett's farm. Oh, fire! Wait for it. Wait for it. Fire! LOL, y'all dead! Kill groups of regulars. Where's the next? What? what? Which group? This group? Where, I can't even see what y'all are looking at. For the signal. Are they shooting? Are they shooting? What are they doing? Who's shooting? I can't. Who? Nothing's happening. Wait for my signal. Okay, there's. They're starting to march over again. Am I supposed to direct you guys Wait also? For the signal. Open fire. Pull those sons of guns. Shoot them. Wait for the signal. Oh no, I lost a guy. It's sort of working. This the the, the instructional part of this uh, bit was signal. a little difficult, so I'm assuming Go. I'm shooting at those guys over there. Ah, uh, people are dying. This is good. My signal. Hold fire. Go. Just shoot them before they shoot you. It's not that difficult. Fire at them so you don't die. Prepare yourselves. There's a lot. There's barely any coming over the bridge. There's a lot more over here. Hold fire. Go. Just kill them. Shoot them now. <laughs> Hold fire! Open fire! Oh my god, don't take so long to shoot them, Jesus! Hold fire! Shoot! Shoot them! Shoot them now! Hold fire! Fire! 
God, why do you need me to be over here and be like, shoot the guns, everyone? Shoot. Ready. Shoot. Shoot them. Shoot them. There's a lot coming on the right, man. Wait for my signal. Almost none are coming over the bridge. But we're killing there a lot, so I guess it's fine. Now. Oh, yeah. I'm not even paying attention to, like, early lateness. I'm just walking over. I'm Wait like, have you signal. fired your guns yet? Nope. Well, maybe you should do that so Wait you don't die, you idiots. Woo! Really wouldn't mind just Make ready. running over there and getting in on some of this. Patriots remaining, Hold not fire. many. Shoot. Yeah, we might survive this. Make ready. <laughs> okay, so apparently I need to pay far more attention to that. Son of a... Kill those sons of guns! Go! Oh man, we only got to kill eight more and we, <laughs> we win the battle. Shoot them! Shoot them now! We have plenty more Patriots than we had last time. To be fair, I it just never really paid attention to the Patriots' remaining bar. That'll do it! You gotta pay attention to how many guys you have left. We did it! They're turning tail! Good job, everyone. Great work. Talk to James Barrett. Can I have can I have my horse now? That was my real question. Now I can have my horse. Everyone's real excited! Woo! You killed lots of guys. Shoop. Takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. Are we getting sucked out of a sequence? It just seems soon. I, we haven't really done that many... No. No, I don't think we are. Maybe we are. For the support of the glorious cause, I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there is no pay. man better suited Sir, to the task. To really? I can no think of several. Could have Charles Lee. Have this arduous employment at the do I know you? I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> I don't I call her. There's someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. I'm sorry to pull you away Those like that, I but doubt not they the last thing we need is the is two of you coming to blows. Now, Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. As humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. And lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. 
You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Continental Congress. Okay, but where am I? Am I in the frontier? I have to be, right? Hey, man. Still here, are you? I was just wondering. What happens now? There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Mm -hmm. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. Hmm. So, let's walk outside quick and see where ex where are we? I assume we're in the frontier, because he said we gotta get to... What the piss?! What? What? Why am I here? Where is this? Is Continental Congress some sort of magic school bus bullcrap? What? That doesn't even... It's gotta be a building somewhere. Oh my god. Where? I have no idea. No idea. They didn't tell me. So I guess I don't get to know. Anyway, that is it for today. Thanks for watching. A uh, bit of a long episode, but lots of uh, lots of cool story stuff in there. Thank you um, for for hanging tight as uh, we juggle all of these different uh, quests. Because I know that there's people that are very interested in the main story, but there's also some some really interesting things in Frontiersmen and the Homestead. So we're trying to juggle them all in a way that's fair for all audiences. And if you're into everything, then you're just having a great time no matter what. Next episode. Um, probably advance we probably still advance the story a little bit there's just there's so many other things i know the the homestead's got now we know there's two other um missions in here that we need to uh, take a look at and we're getting we're really we're, we are really getting some some places in the main story because we just met george washington that's awesome oh my god this game is immense thanks for watching see you next time for more Stephen plays assassin's creed 3